Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dean's Reviews, and today I'm back for my weekly review for this week's episode of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5. This one's going to be for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 4, which is called Skid Marks. So, wow, this season's really been blowing me away. And this episode right here, too, um, one of the best episodes of the season so far, I think, out of the first four. I, I have to say, this season, season five of Fear the Walking Dead, has been really killing it. And I think that this episode really just, just, just made the season even better for me. And, um... For all the people out there that still don't like Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 and they don't like Season 5 and they don't like these first four episodes, I, I can't agree with you. I think this is, uh, this is an amazing season. I think every episode this season so far has been really, really good. And... Um, I'm excited to see what uh, what's to come uh, for the uh, the uh, the last four episodes of this half season. So, uh, in terms of skid mark, so this episode right here. So, of course, skid mark referring to uh, Daniel's cat. Um, but this episode right here, I want to kind of discuss, and I want to discuss the ending before I actually get into anything. But before I do, I just want to say a huge spoiler warning if you have not seen this episode of Fear the Walking Dead. I do reviews every week for Fear the Walking Dead. I was considering stopping there around uh, the second half of season four, but man, after this season, I just don't know how I could possibly stop reviewing Fear. I mean, it's such a good season right now. So, um, anyway, let's give our thoughts on uh, what the big ending was. So, I didn't expect that at all. I mean, I, I really just didn't. Like, that was right there one of the best scenes of fear because that is the same helicopter uh, that they see at the end of the episode that Morgan and uh, Alicia see at the very end of the episode uh, is the helicopter that took Rick in Season 9 of The Walking Dead, or at least one that looks like it. You know, we don't know 100% for sure if it is the exact same one, but it, 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 pro it, it could be. Like, it could be the same one that took Rick. Now... People, I know ever since the episode uh, ended last night, people are like, um, is Rick in the helicopter? He's not, because the timelines wouldn't make sense. Right now, Rick is still out of Alexandria during the timeline of fear. Right now, Rick is at Alexandria, and it is between the uh, season 8 and season 9 time jump where, you know, uh, Rick slit Negan's throat between that episode and when they go to the museum in, in uh, you know, the, uh, the Washington city, right? Um... If you guys remember, they skipped about a uh, you know a year and a half or so of time, and uh, you know they kind of made Rick and some of the uh, others look a little older and stuff. So um, it's in between that time. So Rick is not taken yet uh, by, by the time we see this, uh, because Morgan left right after All Out War, um, joined the Fear Cast, and you know we saw everything like that, but. We saw, uh, you know, you know, because we saw that, and then now we see a four month time skip between season four and season five of Fear. Four months is not, you know, a year and a half. So Rick is still at Alexandria right now. We're just seeing the group that took him, which I think is actually a good thing because we can actually explore more about this group without Andrew Lincoln having to come in to play Rick Grimes again in Fear. Um, which I think is good. So that is a really, really cool thing for sure. Uh, because even though some people are like, oh, well, will we see Rick and Fear? People have been kind of discussing that. I've even discussed it a little bit. Um, I, it doesn't make sense because the timelines are not the same. Rick is still at Alexandria at this point. They haven't even started building the bridge yet. Like they're at that kind, they're not even at that part yet. So, um, it just doesn't make sense. But, uh, you know, right now though, I have to say that that ending for Fear the Walking Dead episode four was really, really cool. And to see the helicopter was really, really cool. And I like how Alicia and Morgan, they look up and they're like, what the heck is that? You know, but we as viewers know it more than them. We're like, oh my God, that's the group that took Rick, you know? Um, so Fear the Walking Dead is definitely uh, doing a good job of, you know, getting the original Walking Dead fans, even, you know, those fans that don't like Fear, at least excited because we're going to find out more about the group that took Rick, uh, before, before they actually took Rick. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool as well. Um, so I'm really excited to see some of that. And of course, next week, we're going to see an Althea episode. So that's going to be really, really cool as well. So in terms of this episode, though, aside from the ending, uh, you know, I loved it. It was it was amazing. You know, I mean, Daniel is one of my favorite characters from Fear of the Walking Dead. Him and Strand, you know, they're really two awesome characters. Um... We get to see Skidmark, we get to see them, you know, go through uh, and uh, get food and stuff. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, we have Strand who kind of lets Charlie go in, and then she gets in the back of the vehicle, and, uh, you know, Daniel kind of acts like he doesn't see her, but, of course, uh, he does. And he's like, you know, I like it when he's just kind of like, uh, you know, he, he he contacts Strand, or he's like, I told you. I told you about the plane, Victor. And, uh, you know, Victor, you know, Strand didn't, you know, listen. And, of course, uh, he's, uh, I like when he's just like, you know, okay, well, you know what? 
I know that there's someone in the, in, in, you know, in, in my car and he's just like, show yourself. And Charlie's just like, you know, she kind of comes out or whatever. And, uh, I actually like it because I didn't expect this to happen at all. But, um, this was actually a really cool idea is that we actually get to see, uh, uh, it, uh to my surprise, cause I didn't really think we would, uh, we actually see the two of them bond. Like we actually see Charlie and Daniel have, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, a, a good few scenes where they're just, you know, they actually kind of, you know, are kind of friends, you know, a little bit, you know, and, Charlie knows, you know, uh, you know what to do. You know, you have skid mark in front of the building. Daniel and Charlie kind of try to go through the back and stuff. And you know, we get the idea that Charlie is, you know, she is smart. She she might have killed Nick and done some stupid uh, stupid stuff before, but she definitely knows what she's doing. Though at uh, at times, definitely, you know, for her age, yeah, she definitely uh, she's she's smarter than people think. I think so. Um, her and Daniel are kind of friends in this episode, which I, I found just kind of kind of cool and kind of interesting. Uh, I like how Daniel kind of, uh, you know, uh, Daniel and uh, Charlie. Daniel learns from Charlie, and Charlie learns from Daniel. You know, it's kind of one of those things. So uh, we get to see uh, also in this episode, which I did like as well, uh, the Ophelia mentioned about Strand and how he lied. Um... Which was also kind of cool and kind of, you know, I like how we see that and then he, Strand does tell them what, what he did uh, when it comes to Ophelia way back in season three where he kind of lied and then, uh, you know, I'll get me out of here and I'll take you to her. If you guys, you guys remember that? And, uh, you know, he's like, you will rot here or whatever. And he's like, I saved your life. You owe me. And then, you know, he's, uh, Daniel, you know, and then they go and then they go to the, uh, you know, the hotel and, you know, they realize the place is overrun and Ophelia is not there. Neither is Madison and neither is, um, you know, Travis, uh, uh, Alicia and the others. So, you know, um, I like when, you know, Daniel's just like, great, really, you know, let's see how, uh, let's see uh, if you get out of this one and he leaves him for the dead basically. So, um, you know, I like that, of course, that referring back to that episode in season three, that was, uh, episode five of season three. Um, Burning in water and drowning in flame, I think, is what uh, what that one was called. The episode where you know we get to see Daniel and uh, Strand go looking for Ophelia, even though Strand is really just you know kind of screwing him over. But uh, anyway, that was really really cool. And of course, Strand, I really like in this episode decides not to be that coward again, not to be that guy again. And they actually, you know, they decide to go rescue Daniel. So he's leading the herd, of course. Charlie gets back to them. They're leading the herd, and then they come in in the uh, the SWAT vehicle, uh, you know, Al's, uh, you know, van. And of course, uh, you know, it's uh, it's jammed, so they can't, you know, they can't shoot the zombies. And of course, Daniel gets stuck um, underneath the uh, the vehicle, of course, and. Um, I like it when she calls uh, Daniel, uh, you know, Dan the man, which is really cool. Uh, you know, I, I think that's kind of cool. You know, uh, you know I, I've already heard, uh, so, so, you know, some people saying, uh, like, I've actually already, already heard some people uh, talking to me, uh, you know, uh, last night actually about. Uh, Dan the man and how I, sh I should say Dan the man back for another video so I don't know maybe for my fear reviews that makes sense I don't know if you guys you know really care about that but I, f I found that kind of funny when she said Dan the man because you know in, in real life people actually call me Daniel like that's 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 my full name that's what a lot of people call me but uh, you know for the channel I, I, I people call me Dan so you know and really that's that's just something I'm used to in real life people call me Daniel in uh, my channel you know and all that kind of stuff my friends here on YouTube people call me Dan so I kind of like that and when she said Dan the man and the there, there was a, there was a like I think there was like uh, two people or so uh, saying like you should do like a you know a Dan the man back for another fear video so maybe I'll do that next week or something cool like that but. Um yeah, I like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, Sarah is just, yeah, she's hilarious. But uh, anyway, so we get to see Strand, of course, uh, save Daniel. And I like when he, uh, you know, we, we see the, 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 whatever those things are on the, uh, the, uh, the plane. And uh, I really like it too, because it's almost just like they just fly away. Like you just see like a little bit of blood and it's like, Tch! They're gone, you know? So, like, because you, you see Strand, he turns the thing on or whatever, and then you see the zombie come up or whatever, and then it's like, Psh! zombie's gone. You know, you see a little bit of red. Like, just see a little bit of red, like, you know, blood everywhere. That's it. Um... That was really, really cool. So, Strand, you know, is not a coward. He decided to, to, uh, to save Daniel, and then he's like, I won't shoot you in the face. So, kind of his way of saying... Okay, we're good, you know, and you have changed a little bit since uh, since then. So uh, I like that, of course. And then the, we get to the only frustrating part of the episode for me, where Daniel says he's gonna leave again. So that better not be it again, man. I I want to see Daniel. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to see more of Daniel from this season, but I have a feeling that they're probably gonna have Daniel be gone for now until you know season six or something. I kind of had a feeling. You guys, you know, saw the video this week I made about Daniel. Um, 
If you didn't go check it out, I talked about uh, you know will uh, will we see Daniel leave again? And I thought maybe he'd leave at the end of this season in that video. I was wrong, I think, because honestly, it looks like he's leaving now. So where is he going? I don't know, but we're gonna have to wonder for a couple years probably. <laughs> so, um, but uh, you know, I mean, whatever. It, it, at least they had him come back at all. But uh, you know, I just I don't know. That kind of upset me a little bit. But. Um, Really though, really, really enjoyed seeing Daniel for these uh, these two episodes, episode two and four. So uh, really got a lot of time in uh, this episode. So we get to see the kids in this one too. We do see uh, Luciana and uh, Dylan too. He's kind of, uh, you know, talking with the kids or whatever. Um, now we do see one of the uh, Commonwealth soldiers or CRM soldiers, uh, you know, and then of course uh, the, the kids kind of get away and then uh, we get to see Morgan and Alicia. They're surrounded by the kids, but they kind of, you know, they kind of make a deal and stuff. I don't, I don't really care about the stuff with the kids, you know. Um, it's there, it's fine, but uh, as long as the kids are not the, the villains of the season, which uh, they kind of made it seem that way last week, this week, looks like the uh, the uh, the kids are actually going to join and, uh, you know, they're going to kind of try to see what the CRM group is actually about. So that's cool. I, I am excited to see that, of course, and uh, the kids, you know, we'll have to see uh, what, what they do with them next, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at least happy this episode kind of turned things around. Doesn't look like the kids are going to be the villains anymore. Um... Fear is really good with tricking people. So, and this week they they definitely did for me. So, uh, in terms of this episode, and in terms of the helicopter scene at the end, and just what what it sets up for the Rick Grimes movies next year, because we actually might find out more about this CRM group in Fear this season. And then by the time we get to the Rick movies, we've already learned everything about them, and we're just seeing it through Rick's point of view. Um, this season of fear might actually be the first time we see the, 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 the CRM group and not what we thought, which is that the first time we'll see who took Rick is when we actually see the Rick movies. No, we're actually going to probably see it more detailed and more explained in fear. So, cause the, the CRM group is obviously the villains of this season. It's not the kids. So definitely an interesting route to, uh, to go down for sure. So, um, really exciting stuff. Really like this episode. And uh, in terms of my favorite part of this episode, um, the helicopter at the end. I think that was a really, really cool thing to set up. Of course, next week is an Althea episode, so I will be doing my predictions for that. But uh, yeah, really, really awesome stuff. Really enjoying the season of Fear, of course. If you're new here, click that uh, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Fear the Walking Dead uh, reviews or predictions or videos during the week. And of course, uh, I want to hear your opinions. What do you think about this episode? And what do you think about now, the first quarter of season five of Fear? Do you like it? Do you kind of, you do you um, love it, like it? It's okay, uh, you know, uh, dislike it or hate it. What, which one out of those? Um, me right now, I'm going to say I'm loving it, to be honest. I'm sorry, but I think this is a really good season. Um... I think they're doing a really good job with this season of fear, and uh, you know, I yeah, I really like it. So, uh, Skid Mark is staying back with a strand and the other, so that's really really cool as well. Uh, we'll have to see where Daniel goes if we actually see it all. Uh, but uh, I don't see any other scenes from this uh, this season's trailer with Daniel in it, so that's probably it for Daniel this season, which is kind of kind of unfortunate. But uh, you know, we'll have to see. And, and are we going to see Troy, or was that rumor just false? That's another thing I'm wondering too. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, of course, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.